Today on Nerd Out, Drip Drops Multi Drip. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano, we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're talking about Drip Drops Multi Drip feature. This is not out yet, so this is kind of a a preview of what it's going to look like. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So what is multi-drip? Multi-drip is a drip pro convenience feature. It doesn't change anything major architecturally, but it does allow you to drip more than 10 tokens at once. So the current method is you go to dripdrops.io, you select 10 tokens, you drip, you pay, you wait, tokens arrive, then you can go back and get your next 10 tokens for that same wallet. Um, so now you can select more than 10 tokens with this feature. And you can also do multiple wallets at once. So if you have multiple wallets, take the various different pools because you like supporting them or you like what drops they're giving, um, you can do that. You can make it all happen at once and then just send a single transaction to make all the stuff happen on the back end. So that's what multi-drip is at the kind of a high level. So let's take a look at some of the screens uh, that we've built for this. This is our test net environment right now. So the first is um, to get multi-drip, you'll first have to upgrade to Drip Pro. And Drip Pro, as the vote went, it looks like you have to redeem 10,000 Drip tokens. And there will be a kind of a button in the upper right of the, the page where it'll say upgrade to Drip Pro. You go through that process, you send two ADA with your uh, 10,000 drip to redeem the drip pro upgrade, and then you'll get back all of that two ADA minus the transaction fee. So we don't take any, there's no ADA processing fee for that. It's just whatever the network charges. And then you'll be upgraded to drip, drip pro and you'll have a new menu on the left. It'll say multi drip. And once you go into that menu item, um, you will have the option to add a new multi-drip wallet and you can give it a name, you can give it the wallet address here just like you were regular dripping and then you select the tokens and the tokens are selected by dragging from the right to the left and then you save save that uh, wallet and you can add up to 20 of these uh, through the, the interface. It may be a little tedious at first to add all of your tokens, but once you've got them set, you're good to go. And you can pick as few or as, as many as you want. Um, you may want to check back every so often to keep track of what new tokens are coming out on the platform and make sure that you go back in, edit these, and add to your multi-drip lists. And so once you've um, set these up, you, you have all of your wallets set up. I've added two here in the test net. And then you can click on this check my multi drops. And that will give you a listing of all the various wallets. And you can um, see kind of what the summary is. If you want to see the total cost, you can click on the view cost down here at the bottom. And then the claiming process is going to be the same. You know, you just agree terms, claim the drops, and then pay one time for all wallets to get the, the rewards. So on this final confirmation screen, you can expand what the wallet has and you can add or remove tokens at this point too. So you have an option to, uh, to customize at this point. Uh, you can also uh, cancel if you wanna go back and change your, you know, edit the wallets, change your selections, anything like that. At this point, once you've claimed the drops though, once you click that button, you're, you either have to wait the six hours for it to time out or you have to actually go through with the transaction. So make sure you get exactly what you want before you go through with that. Um, you know, customize if there's certain tokens that you put on your list but you don't really want, you can just deselect them here. But that in a nutshell is what multi-drip is. And so I hope you like it. It should be coming out in the next, um, the epoch following this one. We just want to give it one more epoch of, of testing to make sure this feature is really polished and make sure we have all the, um, all the user experience issues buttoned up nicely for you guys. So with that, nerd out. <laughs>